Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope. This is going to be for your weekly. It's going to be for December 21st to the 27th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerism.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's take a look at what's going to happen. So we're going to be looking at your day today. Your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on my Aries romantic love life? December 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so remember this is going to be December 21st, December 22nd, December 23rd, December 24th, December 25th, December 26th, December 27th. This is your love interest feelings. This is the blockage for this week and this is the overall outcome. So if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end, guys, and we're gonna go over everything. We're also gonna talk about who you're in love with, what their feelings are, what the block delays and challenges are in more detail, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So at the bottom of the deck here, we have some indecisions with the two of swords energy it looks like this week guys you guys are in that mode of i need to really think about this i need to do some deep soul searching here with the hermit card energy and let's see what else i pick up on here someone wants to give you a big hug that's also what i feel like uh, let's just get more information about what that's about so you guys, on the 21st, it looks like you're looking very attractive. You're coming out as the Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We see you're attracting energies towards you, people towards you, looking very sexy, very attractive, Le being very selective. I feel like you can see what are cats. Cats are these... Unlike dogs, dogs are like, hey, I'm, I'm going to love you regardless, right? Cats are like, mm, no, I'm going to be a little bit smarter about this situation. I'm going to be selective in what I want. Okay, so let's see what that's about. It's going to buy Aries Rancic Love Life, December 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see, Aries. Yeah, you guys are using your intuition. You may be getting some signs on this day, so pay attention to your intuition, okay? We got the priest card energy, spiritual connection, spiritual signs, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the first. Okay, what's going to be my Irish romantic love life? December 21st to 27th. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. What's that about? There's something about this house, this home situation here. Some of you guys may be staying close to home. Maybe the, you guys are going to this house or inside of this house, or there's a, um, a stable situation coming in here with the house and home situation here. Let's get more information. What's gonna happen here is Romantic Love Life, December 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I heard someone say, where are you going? Aries, where are you going? Okay, we see that there is some kind of regret. Somebody feels bad about a situation. There's a lot of reflections on the past energy. Okay. What else do I have on here? It's got my Aries romantic love. I just her 21st to the 27th. Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I see kites flying, all right? Wow, there's a shock and surprise. Something is gonna take you by surprise about something about before. It looks like you guys are going to get some kind of breakthrough here. A rather powerful change here coming in. Oh, that's an interesting sign. It's gonna happen fast. Listen to that, there's a really fast motorcycle that went by. 
you always go by omen somebody is feeling heartbroken and sad over you now what i felt like is somebody wants to give you a big hug okay and then of course i felt like your person or this person was saying where are you going aries we see that there is a depressive kind of energy here on, coming in on the 22nd. There's some worries, concerns, or self-doubt here with the mice card energy coming out. Let's keep going. And we got, there's something about this family situation that's causing some concerns here. Let's see what that's about. Someone sees you as somebody that they feel they could go into the right direction. You're part of their destiny, their path. So let's keep going here. So again, we got this person who has a lot of self-doubts about the situation with a nine of swords energy. Someone keeps thinking about you, and this is on the 23rd. You're in someone's thoughts here, okay? They can't get you off their mind. Again, we see that here. We see a main person card coming out. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get going. This person is concerned because there's some kind of challenges, delays. And also I hear question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark is th this person has a lot of questions. They have a lot of questions. They don't have a lot of answers. What's going on? There's a patient energy. You can see there's somebody who wants to be really rambunctious about their actions, but they're trying to sit back and say, okay, I better make a wise decision here. Okay, seven talks about thinking and contemplating. Two plus eight is nine, 10, some kind of contemplation. Five talks about challenges or changes. Yeah, there's someone in their head about you, Aries. They're feeling really bad about this situation. They have a lot of regret. And let's talk about the fact that we're around the holidays and we're getting close to the new year, okay? So this does happen. So yeah, but there's definitely the sense of loss here with the Five of Cups energy. Again, someone's like really on you, like stuck on your in their head about you with this trapped energy. Like my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it. I feel so much regret. And they're in love with you too, with the heart card energy. There, there's a deep love here. Because what I keep feeling is someone wants to just grab you, hug you, hold you. Hmm. Let's just keep going here. Yep. There is a realization within this person. My feelings are real and worth exploring. They're watching you from afar. They're spying on you. I know you guys don't, don't want to tell me in the comments. I know you guys are like, please don't tell me this person is spying on me. <laughs> I don't want to think about this, uh, but I can't help. This is the card. This is the card of spying. Or if you see the seven of swords, but we see this card, which is the card of spying for this deck. Um, yeah, someone is watching you from afar because they are in love with you. Aries, they're in love with you, okay? <laughs> Okay, so we see the shock and surprise. You're my destiny. There's a sense of spiritual wisdom here. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm watching you from afar. I'm noticing you. I told you guys you're looking like the Queen of Wands. You really noticed here. Okay, so let's keep going. So we see on the 25th, there's this waiting around. Well, it looks like a bunch of gifts too, isn't it? <laughs> it's not interesting. Um, there's this waiting around to see what happens. There's some commitments or obligations here with the wife card energy. And we see there's something about money and finance or a lot of emotions at play here. Wow, the tower card's coming out again. For you guys, it's pretty rare to get the tower card this many times. Usually this is a Scorpio reading. All right, so there's this shock and surprise. There's this shock and surprise coming out, guys. Someone really wants to invest time in this situation and they're waiting around, see how things are gonna play out. Yeah, some memories of the past, renewal of the past coming up here on the 25th. So there's a shock and surprise. Someone's like, oh, you're, you know, I feel like you're my destiny. I feel like I wanna make the wise decision. I'm trying to be patient. Um, they're watching you from afar. There's someone from before. Okay, so it's someone you know from before, okay. Okay, so there's this defeated energy coming in here on the 26th. It's like, I feel bad about this situation. I don't know if I should stand up or if I should walk away. Something about the situation you're waiting for, you get some kind of knowledge here, book card energy. Okay, what's this knowledge about? Yeah, the timing is gonna align for you with the Wheel of Fortune card. It's like gonna be a lucky day there on the 26th. What's that about? Something's gonna come together for you guys in your favor, okay? 
So let's bring it together here. Okay. So a sudden action is taken, Knight of Swords on the 27th. Abrupt and sudden, ending, stopping, completion. We see the doll card represents loyalty, devotion, soulmate, or friend. We see a happy outcome here. A main person coming out. So there may have been something, situation going on where someone had ended a relationship and came forward here. Okay, so let's bring it all together. Okay, so we got this big breakthrough, shock and surprise. You're the right direction for me. I want to make the wisest decision. Someone's watching you from afar. Someone from before, there's reminiscing of the past. I want to bring things together with the main person. So someone wants to bring things together and fix what happened from before. So you gotta ask yourself the question, who do you know from before? Okay, so, cause you're, you guys are gonna ask me in the comments, who is this person? It's somebody that you have been known about from before and it's somebody you've been waiting for, for communication on. Okay, so we got regrets and this family conflict has caused delays and challenges. I have feelings for you, I love you. My feelings are real and work with exploring. You're shocked and surprised. This is a lucky situation and a happy outcome. You're happy about this outcome. So then you also have to ask yourself the question, Aries, who would you be happy uh, to be with here? Okay, so we got this knowledge on the bottom of the deck, knowledge, cautiousness, long-term love, and we see lots of chemistry and passion here with someone. Okay, let's bring it together here. All right, so, all right, this house, family, caused some kind of loss with the main person. We see there's this deep love, lots of emotions, and gaining knowledge about this friend. So this may not have been somebody you dated. It's somebody that could be a friend or like a friendship thing, relationship thingy, you know, it's not like a, it's not like a, um, a straightforward connection there. Okay, so something spiritual, spiritual sign, spiritual connection, healing a situation, someone's thoughts feel trapped. We see commitment, obligation, something you've been waiting for, or you're, there's someone who's losing patience or is tired of waiting here. Okay, so they take an action. I feel like that's more tired of waiting, taking an action. Okay, because so, we got the Knight of Swords underneath that. All right, so you are looking very attractive, okay? You're looking sexy. You're looking attractive, Aries. This person's feeling heartache and sadness over you. There's a lot of self-doubt. And this person's like concerns. They feel bad about what happened. There's this want to uh, give it time. Uh, invest time here, Seven of Pentacles energy, or someone feels like they invest it some type of time. And there's this defeated energy and a sudden action that's taken, Knight of Swords. So definitely there will be actions taken by the 27th. So we're gonna bring it together for an overall outcome, but let's take a look at so far what, what's going on with your love interest feelings here. Then we're gonna look at the blockages this week. All right, whoever this is, they wanna speak with you. They want you, Nine of Cups energy, and they want some type of good news or giving you some kind of good news. This person wants to heal the situation or ask for some help. They want loyalty and devotion. They want to take you out somewhere. Uh, looks like this person wants to reveal some things about travel, movement, change, or longing you're missing, and these indecisions around it. This person wants to communicate with you about going out and hanging out because they miss you. That's very straightforward, right? Okay, let's move this out of the way and go further on this in a second here. I have also have this deck as well. Loyalty, devotion. Oh, they're definitely desiring you, but they're feeling like something about the situation. They feel like there hasn't been a full amount of effort or an equal give and take here. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let's come back to the blockage. So you're having to think about something here. Hermit card energy. I told you guys we're looking attractive. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Yep, there is the peacock card. 
someone has a strong temptation, strong desire, jealousy coming in with snake card energy. Lucky. Indecisions about what to do. Okay. That's the blockage. Bring it all together. Let's see the overall outcome here, Aries. There is the thinking card again. I cannot stop thinking about you. Someone wants to give to the connection because they feel like they're being left out in the cold. They want to receive something of value because they feel like they're being left out in the cold. There's concerns about loss of giving. Someone can't stop thinking about you. This person wants to make a power move. Looks like you're going to hear from them. Because they feel like there's a sense of foolishness here, okay? Burdens and challenges and the stuck energy. And star card shows me hopeful optimism, okay? Also could be a spiritual connection. Feel, somebody feels like there's a lot of spiritual signs and feeling very stuck about it. That also could be the case. Let's go further. So this is more or less you that's uncertain about this person. But this person, you're not sure if you want to make an effort towards this person in fixing and healing this. Okay. There is romance here and someone's trying to hit the bullseye because they're concerned about losing out. Um, and we see that they're doing some things in a sly, slick way to get your attention or even spying on you, as I said. We see this travel and some communication and we see a temptation coming in, strong desires. We see happiness, success, concerns about secrets or unknown, but we receive some kind of happy surprise or gift here. Okay. Money and finance situation, joyful, happy energy. We see concerns about some kind of infringing party. I'm so sad. I want to be with you. And we see these infringing parties. So they could be family members or friends infringing this week. Okay, so I can't stop thinking about you. I want you to make a decision about this friendship, Three of Cups energy, and this house home, solid foundation, Four of Wands energy. I want to heal and fix this situation. I want to give you some kind of good news about the fact that I deeply love you, King of Cups energy. Okay, let's see. Let's see some advice for you guys. Can I suggest my Aries when it comes to a romantic love life for the highest best good supposed to offer for them now until the end, oh well, until December 21st to the 27th for the romantic love life. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Get ready for big changes. <laughs> well, you did have the tower card two times in your reading. Yeah, there's an opportunity. The keys open the door. So I feel like there's there's an offer on the table here and you have the key to your success here if you want this you can assert your personal power you have more power around the situation than you realize when it comes to these obstacles delays and challenges you can get exactly what you want here but be careful about going around in circles right put energy into communicating and that we see your emotions we see there's a relationship here and achievements if you take a chance i told you Okay, my beautiful Aries should be a very interesting week. So I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's multiple things you guys will go check out right now. I will see you guys soon.